everyone, it's Tammy, and today I'm going to do, whoo, I almost spilled my nail polish. I'm not going to do that. I am going to do a nail video, and as you can probably see, I've already started. I thought that I would get a little head start on this because I know sometimes these can be awfully long and you're watching paint dry, literally. One of my subscribers, Tracy, who is also my friend, if she doesn't mind me calling her that, I don't think she would. She um, says <laughs> that I literally just watched paint dry and <laughs> I think of that every time I do these because I'm like, oh, that is true. Um, so hopefully I'll entertain you while you're watching the paint dry, but ugh, I guess a nail video, that's kind of what happens. But I will try to make them go a little bit faster by getting a little bit of a head start. I'm just putting a second coat, or maybe this is, I think this is a third coat, on two of my nails. I haven't quite decided exactly how I'm going to do it. I know I want to incorporate this paparazzi nail color. It's a pretty pink color, but it's not quite as bright pink as I was kind of hoping for. I want a little bit brighter pink. I don't know. Um, I'm sure I have one upstairs. I'm, If you want to know the truth, I'm just too lazy to go look. And my husband is sleeping upstairs. I know it's early. Well, it's not early, early. It's 10 um, at night and he goes to bed early because we wake up early and he just needs, he needs his beauty rest. Trust me. Um, so I also have put on, so you guys know, I've started with my Nail Envy, which is what I always put as, a, as the bottom coat. And then I put this big peel base coat on my ring finger, my middle finger, and my thumb. Because I'm thinking I'm going to use some glittery julep nail polish. I think this is silver. It's called Judy by <laughs> Boho Glam, so that doesn't do much for me. I think it's silvery. I hope it'll be fine. And then I have this white nail polish by OPI. I, I want to call that Opie all the time. And then I have this pretty Bikini Sotini by Essie. Oh, and I didn't tell you the pink color. The pink is So Cheeky by Paparazzi. And then I have this matte thing that I still haven't ever used, the Seche Natural matte finish nail treatment and I probably won't use it this time because I have glitter and I want it to be shiny. Then I have this Orly Second Dry. It's a deep dry uh, top coat and my drops from Paparazzi. And then I also have a nail art top coat that I have had for years. So honestly, I don't even know if it's, oh, it's goopy, but I think we can make it work. I have my two nail art pins, pins. I said that funny. My two nail art pens that are in magenta and silver. And then I also have this nail art, or I don't know what it is, these little rhinestone-y things. I thought they were kind of pretty, and I even like these little flowers. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but um, yeah, I thought that I might give these a little whirl. And I kind of opened everything just a little bit so that I'd be ready, and I had my clippers out and my little orange stick or whatever. I, I did my cuticles and all that too. So, okay, so I've done my coats. So now what I think I'm going to do is put some of this glitter on my middle finger. And maybe my thumb, I don't know. And then I'm kind of wondering, I kind of like that Bikini So Teeny color. And if I use that over the pink, could I still use pink this, or would I need to use purple this? And you know what? I think I have purple this. So let me get that out while I'm debating. Oh, and I'm going to plug in my iPad while I'm thinking about it. Sorry, taking you along for that. Plug. And... Where did I put my little, oh, I left it out, dang that. This is where I have all of my little paint pens. And that's a rose neon. I'm pretty sure that I have a purple color. <laughs> yes, every color under the sun. And I went with silver as opposed to gray because I thought it might be cute to have a little sparkle with the sparkle. I don't know. I don't know. 
I love this little bag that I'm using for my pens. I got this in my February Ipsy bag. I was going to say julep, but I knew that was wrong. So I like that color, this color. It's sparkly. And I'm going to take this Bikini Sotini. Well, I thought, oh, I was going to say I thought I opened all of these, but I guess I didn't open this one because this one came late. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I'm not going to use this one. Holy schmoly. Oh, there we go. I always think, what do, like, really older people do with these things? Because that's hard to open. Like the juice containers sometimes. Tropicana, come on, get with it. These elderly people, there's no way they can open those because I struggle. And I'm not even close to being old. <laughs> Just ask me, I'll tell you. Okay, I do kind of like this purple. I don't know what my deal is with purple lately. I mean, I've always liked it. I like every color, but pink was always, always, always my fave. And it still is. I'm, I'm not saying it's not at all, but I have been drawn to purple and blue more than usual. And purple way more than usual. I would say of the two, purple is... Um, like a close second to pink right now. Pink will never leave first place though. I like totally just drooled a second ago. <laughs> Get all excited over the purple, I guess. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, let's see. I like the way that the Oh, I didn't mean to pop. Oh, goodness gracious. I didn't mean to color that one, which is the reason I have my little thing out. So I can, there, hopefully I didn't get all the layers off. Because I'm going to do those. Well, you know what? Oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do those. Maybe with a purple background or a pink background. Okay, let's see. If I did a pink background with purple stripes, this purple is so dark though, that's the reason I'm kind of going a purple background with pink and silver. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I just made up my mind. And then I will do my thumb in this what I say this was called Judy <laughs> that's a funny name for nail polish oh that's pretty what color is that Judy <laughs> it's Judy just Judy Oh, Jiminy Christmas, I totally just went on my skin. I mean, like, not even close. It's doing that thing again. I don't know. I don't like that. Sorry, I whispered that. I don't know why I whispered it because I know that sometimes you have a hard time hearing me anyway and I didn't make it easier just then. What I said was it's doing that thing again and I don't know why it does that, how it like bubbles up a little bit. I don't get it, but I'll repaint it here in a second. And you can kind of still see the pink underlay. Oh, I didn't do this one. <laughs> so you can really see the, can't you see the pink on that pinky? But you can kind of st still see the pink underlay in the other ones, in the um, pointer finger ones. That's kind of all right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, 
Yeah, both of those nails are doing that weird thing. I don't know. I don't dig it. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to just... It must be that big peel-off stuff. I'm just going to risk it. I'll risk my life. No, I really won't risk my life for nail polish. I will risk my time because <laughs> it takes forever to take off the glitter nail polish. But you know what? Today when I was taking off some of the glitter nail polish, I was watching YouTube videos. So that was nice. I I, I make YouTube videos. Obviously, you guys know that. But um, I don't always get a chance to watch as many as I'd like. And there's some of the ones that I got to catch up with today while I was taking my nail polish off. So that was nice. Yeah, and even this one is kind of looking funny. But I think that the glitter hides it enough so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, I'm not going to do all the other coats, even though I should. I'm not going to. Because I don't want to take 10 years to do a manicure that I will take off in a week. So, even though it might take me a week to take it off. <laughs> I'm going to do another coat of this, I think. I think the reason it looks a little blotchy is just because of that big peel-off from Sally Hansen. I do think it helps, but I don't know. It makes my nail polish look funny. So do I want them to look good during the time they're painted, or do I want them to be easier to take off? I think we know the answer to that, don't we? So, I guess, I, ha I keep saying I'm going to do a favorites video so that you guys will know some of my favorites, and I'm stinking at it. I'm just not doing a very good job, but one of my unfavorites would be that Sally Hansen stuff, I suppose. Takes a long time to dry, and then once it's dried, it just still kind of messes up your nails. So, yuck. But my favorites would be just about everything else. Pro definitely the Nail Envy. I'm really kind of liking how the Essie nail polish is going on. I haven't really used that much in the past, but I like it. I've kind of always been an OPI gal and I still enjoy my OPI and I think instead of silver I might do white I don't know let's just get out a white one just to be careful just to see what we can come up with there's my kitty cat he says hi though and I'm taking a drink we went to uh blaze pizza tonight it's a fast fired pizza place have you guys ever heard of that or have you been to one or um if not and you have one near you go it is like a subway for pizza they have these oven things that somehow special cook them in 90 to 120 seconds so it's lickety split and then it has these ones that you can pick from like i don't know like a chicken barbecue pizza or whatever and it has all the toppings that you would want on that pizza and or and so there's like lots of different selections i don't know five or six different like pre designed pizzas but then there's also a build your own and you can literally just like at subway go through the line and tell them everything that you'd like on it so today my pizza was red sauce with mozzarella cheese and then fresh mozzarella cheese pepperoni basil oregano sea salt mushrooms roasted garlic and cherry tomatoes and it was fabulous and Katie got, um, my daughter, she got a cream-based pizza. So she had like a Alfredo-y looking sauce. It was a creamy white sauce that looks like Alfredo. I don't know if it was. I didn't, she said it was delicious. I didn't ask her what it tasted like. I didn't think about it. But it had um, the 
creamy white sauce and then she had mozzarella and fresh mozzarella and Parmesan. She got it very cheesy because she's a vegetarian so she doesn't put any meat on it. And then she also got basil, spinach, sea salt and oregano. Um, the sea salt just kind of adds a, kind of a nice taste a touch and they just put a little bit on and mostly on the crust. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of fancy, kind of yummy. And let's see, the hubs, what did Dennis get? I didn't, he was in front of me when we ordered and I didn't really pay attention, but he loaded it up with some meats, I'm sure. He loves the ham. He told me the last time, which was the first time I'd gone, so I've been twice now, he told me, you have to get the ham. And I did, and it was good, but I'm, I don't know, I just don't, I, I if I'm picking my own pizza, usually it's just pepperoni and mushroom. But because I could get all the other fresh stuff on there, I did. And the roasted garlic is phenomenal. It's really good, but I will say it gives you some breath. Woo-wee. But that's okay. It's worth it. I'm thinking I might do one more coat of this. I don't know. I definitely think I need to on this hand, so I'm just going to do another coat for both of them. And sorry that it's taken me a while. Maybe I should start with the next time I do this with my nails like at this point so that then you can just kind of see the nail art that I do if I do any. And if I don't, you can just see the beautiful nails I just painted. <laughs> if I don't, I just won't do a video. I'm just teasing. <laughs> So there we go. Oh, I have some good news. I got an award. No, I didn't get an award. I got a notice today about an award that my son is going to be getting from high school. And I'm not sure even what it's for. He doesn't know either. It's, um, oh goodness. What did it say? I'm going to try to pull it up on my phone over here. Let's see if I can tell you what it said. I can find it. Um, it was under messages. Where's messages on this thing? Good grief. <laughs> Turned the wrong way so then everything is discombobulated and I don't know where they are. I'm sure you feel my pain. Messages. <laughs> It's like the first thing on my phone. Dingbat. Well, goodness, I can't pull up the little thing, but it said that um, he's getting an undergraduate award, which I don't know why they call it an undergraduate award because clearly he's in high school. It's going to be an undergraduate award. He's a sophomore. Maybe it's underclassman award. Maybe that's what it said now that I'm thinking about it because I didn't make any sense, did it? So it was underclassman because he's a sophomore award. Um, and it's from one of his classes that he did really well in something. I don't know what he's getting. Um, my daughter actually a couple years ago got it for... A business class she was in so this is awesome that Alex is also getting one it's kind of cool I hate um, I don't hate it for him but Katie is very easily liked by her teachers and such and Alex is much more quiet and he's well I'm just gonna say he's not as big of a teacher's pet as Katie just and I don't I mean she doesn't mean to be she just is and usually, like, the teachers just like her. She always does a good job, and she always asks good questions, and she's always participates. And Alex is just a lot more quiet, and he doesn't do all of those things. So I'm sure that for him, it's harder to follow in her footsteps because, you know, she was, all the teachers know her, and, you know, he gets into class, and, oh, you're Katie's sister, or Katie's brother, and all of that. So, and they have different expectations for him, maybe then. For the other kids sometimes and that was a struggle more in middle school but um in high school it's not such a big deal because a lot of the teachers they have different ones and a lot of you know there's like a thousand kids in each of the classes so not in each classroom i mean like in the year of 2016 there's like a thousand kids graduating and when my son graduates in 2018 there's like another thousand kids so and it's a four 
there's freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, so there's like 4,000 kids in the school. So it's more likely that people don't know Katie and Alex as brother and sisters, the teachers, but some of them do. But um, so I'm excited for him. He needed this. This was a good, a good, good thing. So let's see here. I was gonna try to do some chevroni things. Oh, I don't even think I've used this yet. Well, I need to use this, and I keep knocking this paper down that I'm gonna use. So I need to get this thing started. Well, my plan is to do like a little chevron, and I think I'll do white and pink and silver somehow. Let's see how this works out. Okay, so there's the white, and I'm just going to do a little V. And I have noticed with these paint pens that I really do like. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about the hubbub. My daughter was coming home from her boyfriend's house and he whistled at her and she was saying something silly to him. Who are you? I don't know why she would say that, but whatever. She's a goofball and he's a goofball, so they're good for each other. What I was saying was that I have noticed with these, if you kind of like just dot it as opposed to try to line it, and maybe it's because they aren't dried quite enough, but I don't know, to me it's enough, <laughs> then it seems, tends to work a little bit better. And I'm not getting a very good point on my chevron, am I? There, that's better. And then I think I'll do the silver. And I think I actually might go down a little bit. And give the purple. Love you. Love you too, babe. A chance to be seen. I just got the um, the belly. I don't know jitters when I thought, oh gosh, I have to do this with my other hand. <sighs> That is not easy for me. So now I'll do the white again. Oh, it's coming out a little better now. Way better. It's a little bit forgiving too. Like, I don't know. I feel like if I don't get a perfectly straight line, it's not awful looking. I don't know if this is cute or not. Okay, so... Oh goodness, I just messed up that one. <laughs> That's one bad thing too about going to bed with your fingernails after you just paint them because it's kind of stupid time to do it. But <sighs> Oh, and I got it on this one. I'm trying to take it off carefully. Oh well, I didn't get it taken off, but I think I... Got it taken off enough. Okay, so. <laughs> let's start with this one. Okay, let's do some white work. La la la, I'm not thinking about it, just doing it. That seems to help me if I don't focus too hard. And then I did my pink. I just stuck my thumb in that white. And 
going to kind of make it extra thick. <laughs> not the best not the worst I suppose I'm going to leave a little space and then do a silver I'm like literally sticking out my tongue trying to concentrate so hard on this. Crazy. This is harder than the flowers. I'm trying to get a straight line. Whose idea was this design anyway? <laughs> I'm going to fire them. Oh, it was me. <laughs> I think I need an assistant. <laughs> Somebody I can push the blame on to. Somebody that can help keep me on track. Somebody that can help me with my blog for sure. My goodness, my website. I'm trying to do a better job of keeping up with it. And um, I use Blogger. So my it's ttscraps at blogspot.com. And I have been watching YouTube videos to try to learn how to do my own blog and to make it look decent. Way better than these nails. Oh my good lord. I didn't even get it centered there. Oh, don't look at that. But, um, it's not. I mean, there's lots of coating and stuff, and I really don't know it. So I am struggling. I've done a pretty good job so far, and I'm kind of proud of myself for what I've done. But I'm at the point now that I'm trying to make drop downs for my, um, like my different tabs, like when you look at my website, it'll say home and then shop with me and YouTube videos. And then I want to make tabs underneath that, like the shop with me, where you can go directly to my Stampin' Up! page or directly to my Paper Pumpkin page or even directly to my TP Treasures jewelry page on Etsy. So I'm like trying to do that and I am struggling. It has something to do with CSS code. So if you guys know anything about CSS code, and could help me out with that. Hit me up. Hopefully by the time you see this though, hopefully I've gotten it figured out. Because I've spent, I literally spent about eight hours working on my blog over the weekend. And then I spent another couple tonight trying to figure it out. And I'm liking my blog. I, I probably need to work on the colors a little bit. I'm liking my style pretty much. I need to I need to step back and look at it again just because, you know, when you're doing it with a YouTube video, I'm like trying my hardest just to get it done and to keep up. Well, these look totally different. <laughs> oh, well. I gave it a whirl. I get an A for effort. Okay, I'm going to put the lids on these. I like how I just pulled that right out of there. Sometimes those are really hard to get off, so I thought that I just did it. Like, see, this one still has the plastic on the lid, so I didn't realize it was new. And this one has plastic on the lid, too, because it's just hard to get off. So, let's see. I'm going to put a top coat on. I'm going to get rid of this ugly postcard. That's from our neighborhood association. I really have a bad taste in my mouth about them. We've lived here. We built the house in 2002 and for five years I was the president 
of the Neighborhood Association, and we seem to have done so much more with so much little, so much less money. And now it's like, I just feel like they just keep asking for money. And we have a, instead of somebody volunteering in the neighborhood to be the president and the vice president and the secretary and the treasurer, we have a management company now that does it, which I know adds cost, but it shouldn't be adding this much cost. I mean, it's, I mean, we got paid nothing and we didn't even get our dues paid being in the roles that we were in. And now they say there's like a $1,500 administration fee and stupid stuff like that. It just drives me crazy. I mean, it makes me wish that we would have at least paid ourselves the fee. And then back then when we started, we were part of the city, but um, we were such a new neighborhood and this neighbor, this area is growing so fast that for the first two or three years we didn't have city snow removal so we had to hire that out so even with our budget we still had and we had a record snow one of those years so even with the budget that we had we had snow plowing included in that and now that's not included because the city does it and we have to pay all these administrative fees and all of that so it just it just burns my goat. And then my husband likes to work on cars. He's just, he's not a mechanic, but he probably could be. He's, I know I've talked about him before. I sometimes call him MacGyver because he can really literally fix anything. He, he's very awesome in that way and a very good handyman and a very good mechanic. And you know, if something goes wrong with our cars, he doesn't mind looking at them and seeing if he can fix it rather than paying a million dollars to get it fixed at the car company or at the auto place or whatever. Um, now he's not opposed to taking it there if we need to, but you know, he'd like to assess it first and frankly, I'd love him to because if we can save money on stuff like that, why not? So he had his car or he has a truck. He had it on Jack's for the weekend. Um, I don't know. It's been a little while ago now. It was probably a year or more, but still gets on my nerves. He, um, had it on Jack stands. I don't even remember what he was doing. Maybe brakes or something. I don't know. He was doing something. And um, we got a note saying, you're not allowed to have your car on jack stands and you shouldn't be working on your neighborhood car or your car in the neighborhood. And I'm like, whatever. We pay our dues. And things like that just bug me. I mean, I, I paid my dues not only by paying my dues, but I also volunteered for five years for this neighborhood. And nobody even you know, everybody's new and all that. I get it. They don't even know who we are, but it just bugs me because, you know, I don't know. I try to do the right thing and help out when I can. And then, I don't know, sometimes you just feel like you're, it doesn't do any good, but that's okay. God's got this. I know. I can't sweat the small stuff. Sometimes I let it bother me and I really don't need to because it's really not that big of a deal. I know it's not. And we haven't really heard from him in a long time. It just, you know, things like that stick with you for far too long. Literally, it was probably two years ago that we got the note, and I'm still uh, kvetching about it. But, you know, it's okay. So here are my nails for this week. I don't know if I like them or not. I don't hate them. They're all right. It's better than the one, the purple I needed to get that off. It was chipping, so... I took that off and so now I have this I need to clean up for sure around the edges um, but yeah it's not bad this one's definitely better than this one but all in all I'd probably give it a B it's okay it's an okay look I'm still looking for an A though maybe next week I'll pick a design that's an A <laughs> Well, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk with you all soon. Bye.